Yeah, I'm autistic. Bob. Just a sec. No, you're not autistic, Tina. How many how many toothpicks on the ground? Don't play this game Aww. again. They're fictional, they're animated, and they made their mark on us through the small screen. Michelangelo, master of the whirling nunchakus. And master of the whirling pizzas. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 memorable TV cartoon characters of all time. Oh, you like role reversal? Oh, huh? okay. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, oh, come on. Pick up my poop. For this list, we're looking at the television cartoon characters we consider to be the best and that helped define the decades from the 1980s to the mid-2010s. But Mr. Krabs, it's me, SpongeBob! But how do we know you haven't become one of those voracious flesh eaters? Could a voracious flesh eater do this? <laughs> Number 10, Smurfette, the Smurfs. Dreamy! Your Smurf Dreamy, that mean, terrible old Asriel, nearly had you for lunch. We love all the Smurfs. However, the standout has got to be the love interest of almost every one of these little blue dudes, as she's the only female on the show until the fifth season. Smurfette, look how much firewood! Oops. Oh, clumsy! As a female hero on an otherwise male-dominated show, Smurfette is portrayed as very ladylike with long blonde hair, long eyelashes, and high heels. She provides some much-needed female perspective on the show. Oh, goody! There is nothing like a Smurf! Nothing in the world! Originally planted by villain Gargamel to sabotage the Smurfs, she eventually grew to be accepted as one of the family, thanks to Papa Smurf. I will now introduce the new and improved Smurfette! Smurfette thus proved to kids that good triumphs over evil, providing a great role model for young women everywhere. I must do something, but I'm not even a real Smurf yet. You'll Smurf what to do when the time comes, Smurfette. Number 9. Bender, Futurama. Bite my shiny metal ass! Ooh, yeah, come on, baby! Ooh. Everyone's favorite talking robot from the future. Bender is probably the funniest and the most vulgar member of Futurama's core group. Well, maybe only about 40% vulgar. Easy, baby. You don't want to get hooked on this stuff. Yeah, no need to worry. I don't have an addictive personality. <laughs> While protagonist Fry is a great character in his own right, Bender is simply too amazing to beat, with his don't care attitude and his love of booze. Why would a robot need to drink? I don't need to drink. I can quit any time I want. His harsh-sounding voice only adds to the roughness of the character. Good morning, Bender. None of your business! Get off my back! He's lazy, inconsiderate, and rude. But that's all part of this anti-hero's charm. Who was that guy? Your mama. Now shut up and drag me to work. Number 8. Alvin. Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> vocalist of the Chipmunks, Alvin quickly grew to become the leader of the group, and eventually the fan favorite. What are we waiting for? We've got work to do! Always impulsive and charming, Alvin is the most charismatic of the Rodent Brothers, often leading them in hilarious schemes that he devised in order to get what he desires. I see the bullies! They're in the attic, and they're putting Dave's watch in a big truck! But that won't stop the C team! He's also the resident troublemaker, often causing wacky problems with other characters and bullying his brothers and human father figure Dave. Please, Dave! Well... Thanks, Dave! You're a lightsaber! Alvin! That's one of a kind! Be careful! Despite being the oldest sibling, he seems quite young at heart, and is therefore our favorite. Dave! Number 7. Michelangelo, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You're no match for Michelangelo, master of the Manrique Gusari! One of the four popular anthropomorphic turtles named after Renaissance artists, Michelangelo gets the spotlight here due to his fun loving attitude. Come on, Chrome Dome, hit me with your best shot! You bet I will! 
when not fighting villains Bebop and Rocksteady. Michelangelo is wielding his badass nunchucks, making jokes or socializing with other characters, as well as exclaiming some of the series' famous catchphrases. Kawabunda! While not the smartest or most conniving of the turtles, he certainly is the most entertaining. And as such, the most fun to watch for kids and adults alike. We turtles don't know the meaning of the word defeat. That's right! We never bothered to look it up in the dictionary. Number six, Arthur Reed, Arthur. Hey! Whoa! Everyone's favorite aardvark, Arthur, and his friends have been entertaining children for decades. We decided you may have a puppy if you can take care of it. Yes! My own puppy! Thanks! But first, you need to show us if you're responsible enough to do it. Huh? A typical third grader, except for the fact that he's an aardvark, Arthur goes through typical situations befitting of a typical eight-year-old. He gets into trouble, especially with his sister D.W. You're in trouble now. Hates his mean teacher, Mr. Ratburn, and slaves over homework. But I am glad to have a plausible explanation for why you didn't do your homework. For that, I will give you an extra assignment. Yeah! yeah! All right! While he plays the straight man to the other wackier members of the group, Arthur is intelligent, relatable for children, and just plain entertaining to watch. Those are the goofiest clothes and shoes and glasses I ever saw. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Number five, Optimus Prime, The Transformers. Let's roll. <laughs> Leader of the Autobots, this transforming sentient robot is unquestionably the best Transformer, and one of the best cartoon characters of all time, let alone the 1980s. Save the war stories, hotshot. Just remember there's a thin line between being a hero and being a memory. While there were other great Transformers like Megatron and Bumblebee, Optimus Prime bested them all due to his strong leadership abilities, his compassion, and his bravery. You've lost, Prime! The Decepticons have won! <laughs> the race isn't over yet, Megatron. He's not only a great role model for children, but he also knows how to kick some serious butt, often providing the Transformers series with its greatest action sequences. You destroy everything you touch, Megatron! <laughs> He's badass, and more human than most actual human cartoon characters. But we're not fighters like they are, Prime! We must have courage, Huffer. We can't ignore the danger. We must conquer it. Number four, Eric Cartman, South Park. I'm not fat, I'm big boned. Eric Cartman helped change cartoons forever and define a generation to come by becoming everyone's favorite terrible person. Hey, everybody, check out the all new Cartman Land. It's our grand opening. Cartman Land has over 100 fabulous rides, six roller coasters, and tons of great surprises. And the best part is, you can't come! As one of the first foul-mouthed, immature, narcissistic, and just plain evil animated characters, Cartman quickly made it apparent that, despite its appearance, South Park is definitely not for kids. God damn it, I didn't have an anal probe! Screw you guys, I'm going home! However, his terrible attitude is what makes him unique, and he serves as a great vehicle for satire against anything and anyone. God damn it, Cartman, let me in! I thought you said buying a theme park was stupid! Security! It is stupid, Cartman! You made Kyle lose his faith in God, you fat asshole! Get him out of here! Number three, SpongeBob SquarePants. Coffee rain! It's hot chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate Rain! One of the most popular cartoon characters of the early 21st century, SpongeBob provides great entertainment for viewers of all ages. <laughs> the Sea Sponge's naivete is always hilarious, which makes him an amusing watch for children. Oh, Gary, I knew you weren't disease ridden. You still love me? while his best friend Patrick is equally hilarious, Is mayonnaise an instrument? SpongeBob has made a name for himself all over the internet, and has become the first animated character to have a wax sculpture made of him by Madame Tussaud. I could have sworn I had five dollars in here. I have it, Squidward. You gave it to me to leave you alone yesterday. His popularity has far exceeded what anyone would expect, and he's become the modern face of cartoons for adults and children alike. What do you want, SpongeBob? Time for work, Squidward. Another day, another dollar. Bye, bye. More like another nickel. <laughs> Good one, Squidward! 
Number two, Stewie Griffin, Family Guy. You drove me here, Lewis, with all the indignities I've been forced to suffer day in and day out under your matriarchal tyranny. Though he's not the titular Family Guy, Stewie is hard to ignore or forget as the Griffin baby hell-bent on world domination and killing his mother. What are you, what, what are you doing with a gun? Something I should have done a very long time ago. It's a unique twist on the cartoon toddler, as Stewie is by far the smartest in the family, creating various elaborate contraptions. Prepare yourself, Brian, and I'll show you. He's also the meanest, as he often plots with hurtful intentions. Do you hear yourself talk? I might kill you tonight. At the same time, Stewie's hilarious due to his purely insane and wacky behavior. But his best side comes out when paired with the family dog, Brian. Hey, Stewie, high five. Well, it's about time. Psych. Damn! I look even more foolish than when I was at that cocktail party. While his father, Peter, definitely has his moments, Stewie gets the spot due to his originality and his outrageous behavior. Listen, kid, there's, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. It's not easy for me to say. Oh, God, you're not coming out of the closet, are you? Oh, God, why does everyone always come out to me? Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Pikachu. Its name is Pikachu. Oh, it's so cute, it's the best of all. Ron, I have like 30 seconds to print my history paper. Uh-oh, paper jam. Turn! Paper jam, Ron! My crotch is itchy. Come here, let me see. Linda, not now. All no, right. let's all see it. No! I'm just not sure if I'll be any good on the grill with just one free hand. Bloody Mary, full of vodka, blessed are you among cocktails. Pray for me now, and at the hour of my death, which I hope is soon. Amen. And also swear to only speak in rhymes. Speak in rhymes all the times. I swear. And pigs have hair. Number one, Homer Simpson, The Simpsons. To alcohol, the cause of and solution to all of life's problems. For us, there is no other choice but the king of animated TV himself. Go! Mm. Oh, you over! Hmm. Homer Simpson is your typical father, mostly, with his addiction to television and love of beer. But most importantly, he loves his kids. And those are just some of the traits that make him so relatable to pretty much everyone. What's the point of going out? We're just gonna wind up back here anyway. While his son Bart is also a fantastic character, there's no matching Homer's heart. Kids, you tried your best and you failed miserably. The lesson is, never try. <laughs> You're right in the butt. There's also no denying the impact that Homer has had not just on cartoons, but on TV in general. <laughs> He's known across the globe and has become a true small screen icon, even earning a spot with his family on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Good Lord, fellas. For once, maybe someone will call me sir without adding, you're making a scene. Do you agree with our list? Yes. Who's your favorite cartoon TV character of all time? Arthur. Three cheers for Arthur the Loser. For more animated top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Mr. Simpson. La, 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 la. Mr. Simpson. Huh?